welcome back to another video guys as always today we are back at king's dominion we haven't been back since they reopened last time when we came it was just for the tomb Beely reopening or grand opening and now we're here for the actual park check out everything we'll also check out jungle expedition a little bit more because last time it was snowing when we were here we didn't get really to explore it or explore the park at all we're joined today by josh and landon which we'll be getting some feedback from them if we're able to get on to Beely and see from a first timer's perspective what the ride is like. But let's get into the park, which we already are, and have some fun. And as we're making our way through, we gotta pay respect to the beautiful fountains as usual. I think we're gonna make a left and go check out Dominator. It's been a while since we've ridden Dominator, actually since we were last here. Actually not even well before that because we were here for Winterfest and all the rides were closed. So it's been a really long time and one of the favorite rides here at the park. A quick update here at the park. We are completely cashless. So they have all the cashless options now. So you can kind of expedite your process and also do it a little bit safer given the pandemic protocols. Kind of cool. I'm all for it. First ride of the season in and it's Dominator. Good wake me up for our day here at the park. We're going to start making our way left. I do want to ride Boo Blasters and get our way over to Tumbili to get our first ride on Tumbili. Landon, first ride of the, of the season. How was it, Dominator? It was exhilarating. Exhilarating. Good word. Josh, you got a big word? Uh, it woke me up. Oh, wow. What a vocabulary. Yes. <laughs> and we're making our way through the kid zone, the Snoopy area. And you can see Tomb Beely in the distance. But before we get there, I really, really want to see if Boo Blasters is open because it's been a while since we've been on Boo Blasters. Let's make our way. At the end of this area is Boo Blasters and then right next to it will be Safari Village. Well, the new Jungle Expedition, I mean. And we've made it to Boo Blasters. Fun fact, this used to be a Scooby-Doo ride. Perfect. love myself a good like haunted mansion attraction and this one's interactive you could shoot a little bit I'm not gonna, I'm not and in we go to boo hill we got josh up front landers to the side Come on, Josh. Show him them Call of Duty skills. Man, are you gonna shoot somebody? No. Grab a gun. Josh got 1,447. I got 980. Lame. All right, that is always a classic when we come here to King's Dominion. I love that ride. And the fact that it used to be Scooby-Doo, I think I saw some like essence of like the leftover like retheming of Scooby-Doo, but I didn't do too well. I did 980 and Josh took the, the W with a 1,447 points. And Landon, he broke the machine. He actually got so many points and went all the way back to zero. <laughs> That's a lie right there. All right, so we took the side entrance into the new Jungle Expedition, and there's Tomb Beely. It looks like some of the venues, like Outpost Cafe, are still not open, but it's coming along, and at least this time around, it's not like all cold and snowy. And I don't think we saw this plane last time when we were here, so they have added some theming. 
check this out. I got, I got to look back at my video, but I definitely didn't notice this last time that I was here when we were here for the opening of Tumbili. This plane has been put in here, and this is pretty cool theming. And we are in line for Tumbili. The ride is going up, and the weather is getting a little bit worse. It's a little windy. It looks like it's threatening that it's going to rain. Well, our luck run out once again like last time, but check it out. Here we go. Woo! Looks like the back one spins more than the front one. Some of them don't spin as much. That hurts backwards. All right, we finally got our first ride on Tumbili. We are making our way over to Twisted Timbers, but we had to talk a little bit about Tumbili. I gotta say, very short ride, but I was impressed with the ride itself. It's very cool, very different. You don't get to ride that style of ride. It's the first time I've ever done a 4D spin coaster. So I actually really enjoyed it and think it's a cool addition to the park. In addition to Love and Jungle Expedition, let's get a little feedback. Josh, what do you think about the ride? Yeah, it was a good ride. It's different. He was super scared to go. He was scary. I was scared. <laughs> but my heart was pumping. Yeah, but the, the ride's pretty dope. It's nice and smooth. You know, it's a whole new like style of ride at the park, so I appreciate it. And after Toombili, we are making our way over to ride Twisted Timber. But before we get there, I wanted to kind of talk about this right here. You got the one day is fun, a season is amazing. And it is true. We just upgraded our pass this today, actually, because today is the first day that we are back into the park, not as media. And my pass expired from last year, so we are a platinum member. But a gold pass is an amazing one. That's what I started off with. It gets you access to King's Dominion all year round, and you get their Haunt, their Winterfest, which are two of the most amazing events for those seasons in the area. But I do have the Platinum, which means that this year we're looking to add many more Cedar Fair parks. All right, let's make our way to Twisted Timber. The weather's not looking in our favor, but we just got off Twisted Timber. We're getting in all of our first rides for the new season of King's Dominion here for 2022. And it's just really nice to be back. Twisted Timber is one of the best rides. I did run into a viewer, gave him one of my buttons. His brother was with him. I didn't catch his brother's name, but he let me know that his brother was a big fan. And unfortunately, he wasn't at the end of the ride. He was in line for another ride. So I just wanted to say, if you're watching, you know who you guys are. We were in line for Twisted Timbers. Hi, it was a pleasure meeting you guys. And we're making our way through. We're getting kind of hungry, so we're probably gonna grab a quick bite, but the weather is definitely not in our favor today. We've had a blast, we've gotten in some rides. Hopefully, it doesn't cancel us early. What, you wanna go to Mac Bowl? Nope. Mac and cheese, gourmet mac and cheese. We can try that out. And check this out. I was completely unaware that there was a Chick-fil-A inside of King's Dominion, so we will stop and dine here. We'll see if like Bush Gardens Tampa, the Chick-fil-A's don't have cheese on their menu for any of their sandwiches. But we'll probably grab something with some fries. Waffle fries. All right, our bellies are full. We just had some Chick-fil-A. And just like Chick-fil-A at any other theme park, I didn't know that they had it here. So that was a pleasant surprise, but they don't have cheese on the menu for whatever reason for their sandwiches. But we're making our way back over to Jungle Expedition. We might get another ride on Toombili, but what I want to ride is Backlot Stunt Coaster. We haven't ridden that in a really long time. The weather doesn't seem like it's you know, it keeps on coming in and coming out. It's not in our favor, but we're gonna see if we can get some more rides in. And as we're making our way over to Backlot Stunt Coaster, we're going through the new Jungle Expedition and I'm noticing this new stonework. So this used to be all asphalt, but now check this out. It has a really cool pattern. Right over here, that little part that's asphalt is actually supposed to be like a landing strip. And then they just recently added this plane over here. So a lot of cool theming still going up here at the Jungle Expedition area. And here we are at Backlot Stunt Coaster. The line looks a little bit longer than I'm willing to wait, but this is a really cool ride that I haven't ridden in a really long time. Originally, when the park was owned by Paramount, this was the Italian job, and then it got rethemed once Cedar Fair purchased King's Dominion. Very cool ride, very cool ride vehicle, but one interesting thing is just wondering with the new Jungle Expedition over here, 
and this being basically part of it, I wonder if they could retheme this to be more fitting to the Jungle Expedition area as well as Anaconda over here. But I think Anaconda could easily fit into Jungle Expedition. Got Intimidator 305, which I don't think will be changing its name. It's just too historic of a ride, but it would be cool to see if they could maybe change this to like a safari ride, add some animals along the indoor portions. Who knows? It will be cool to see if they do attempt to retheme some of these rides in here. All right, so a quick veto on Backlot Stunt Coaster. We're going to make our way to I-305 as it goes up the hit lift hill. It's kind of surprising to see this ride not have a long line, and Backlot Stunt Coaster does. This is a much better coaster, but I think it also scares the heck out of people because of that 305 foot drop that they're about to go down. Let's get on. I-305. That's got to be one of the most intense roller coasters I've ever ri ridden. This little guy right here rode with me. This guy, chicken, did not ride. Ah, today. But I-305, one of the best coasters here at Kings Dominion, and probably one of the most intense coasters in the U.S. Now we're gonna figure out what we'll do next, but I think our day is about to wrap up very soon. And we're making our way back into Jungle Expedition. We've decided we're gonna try Reptilian. Hopefully the line's not too long so we could actually jump on and enjoy the replacement of Avalanche. And as we're making it past what used to be the entrance to Volcano, when you're on top of Toombili, one thing I notice is there is a lot of construction going on behind these walls. So hopefully they'll have a replacement for Volcano very, very soon. got off of Reptilian, the replacement or re-theming of Avalanche. And I gotta say, I am so glad to have this coaster back. It is a super unique experience and also kind of adds to the unique, diverse rides that King's Dominion has. I, I just love it and I do like the re-theming. The, the actual like ride vehicle looks really cool. And also I'm not sure if they had it for Avalanche, but there's a lot of like cool little theming throughout the line queue as well. And just in case you've never ridden a bobsled coaster, which is what Reptilian is, there's very few portions of the track where you're actually connected. There's areas like this, for the most part, where you're just free flowing through as if you were riding in a bobsled. So, you know, hence the name bobsled coaster. So we got the like lift hills, and then there's a few parts here that have brakes where it'll just slow you down because you've been going too fast. But aside from that, you're just moving through these free flowing areas on wheels. And as we're exiting, fun fact, this is a reused portion of Volcano. Volcano the Blast Coaster, which while we were riding this ride, I got another view from up top looking down at the volcano area. It looks like there's some pavers set, so some construction going on back there, not just demolition. And another ride on Tomb Beely on the way. All right, second ride on Toombili, and I rode in the opposite end. So I found that you get a completely different ride experience depending on if you're riding with your back towards the lift hill or facing the lift hill as you get on the ride. Facing the lift hill seemed a lot more, uh, I, I guess you could say aggressive. It flips a lot, a lot more times and you get a whole different perspective of the park because you get to see like Soak City and everything. So it was kind of cool, but we enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to check out our other videos. We had two other videos, which I'll link up on the screen shortly. And we went and checked out Toombili for its opening day, as well as we had another video talking about Safari Village and its transformation into Jungle Expedition and everything that was coming this year. We'll see you guys on the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along, but don't forget to ask yourself, have you been a detained?